Hey guys, welcome back to Data with Dominic and in today's video we're going to be looking at how to handle or fill in null values um, in a data frame using PySpark. So let's dive into the demo. I've got my Databricks Community Edition open up here and um, I've got a video that shows you how to set your Databricks Community Edition up uh, so that you can use PySpark and practice PySpark for free. I'll link to that in the top right hand corner of the screen but meanwhile let's go to the demo. So what I've done here is basically I've imported a CSV file as a data frame and once I've done that I've just displayed it to show you guys what the data is. So it's a very simple mock data frame. It's got We've got an ID column, first name, last name, email, gender, IP address and you can see there's a lot of null values all over the data like in this last name column, this email column, gender column, IP address column, right? So um, what I'm going to show you now is we don't need this print schema for now but I'm going to show you very easily how to just handle uh, null values in PySpark, right? So we have this uh, function available to us called fill. So what we have to do is basically uh, just call the data frame df.na uh, and then dot fill, right? So the function is basically dot na dot fill and then within brackets you can specify what value you want to fill the null values in. So that's like a sample um, it's just a fixed value which will be replaced, which will be replacing all the null values in the particular data frame. So you can see that when we call this uh, value zero, and we've run this uh, piece of code, you can see that all the null values which were here, you can see the gender first row, IP address first two rows, all of those null values have been changed to zeros, right? And the important thing, which uh, uh, I now come to why we've use the print schema here is you can see that all these columns because I've just uh, imported them from a CSV they're saved as strings so when we have a column saved as a string and we want to fill in um, uh, a value to as a placeholder what we have to do is we have to um, add the semicolons right so we have to s specify the value as a string so suppose all the columns for which we wanted to replace the nulls with zero were all of int or float or some numeric type then we would have to specify zero uh, without uh, the semicolon right but you know that in most cases uh, what happens are we'll have um, data of both types we'll have columns that are strings columns that are uh, numeric data within the sing within a single database so how we can specify that is what I've shown you next right so uh, what we can also use is inside the parameterized brackets we can add this subset parameter which allows us granular control that means we can control for each column what we want the placeholder value to be or the value that replaces the null to be so you can see here I've done na.fill and I specified the value as no email and I've set that with subset email so only column only null values in the column with the name email will be changed to value no email so you can see this two null values which were there as zeros here have become null values right which were null values here have become null values similarly for IP address we've got the first two and the last two as um, nulls but I've uh, added another dot na dot fill and I've added a value no IP with a subset IP address so you can see that all um, null values in the column IP address which is the subset parameter have been changed to the no IP uh, value so that's how the dot na dot fill works which is a powerful function for us uh, available to us in BySpark which allows us to handle null values so that's it for this video thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe share comment and hit the bell icon and i'll see you guys in the next one